Good afternoon. So I'm just out here sitting in uh, her TP. It needs a little bit of work right now, but we'll be updating that tomorrow and getting that going. Um, get, get some dirt on my shoes. <laughs> but basically what I wanted to do is just, just kind of talk a little bit about my hair, right? And not specifically about my hair, it's just more about um, being identified as a long hair person. Um, I just recently got a cut. Um, it was you know way down to here. And really what happened was happening is I was becoming known as the guy with long hair, right? Like I had long hair, everybody was like praising me, oh your hair's so beautiful and all that. And it kind of came to the point in which I wasn't wearing the hair, the hair was wearing me. What do I mean by that? I basically, um, I was using it as a tool to get attention. What, like what I say, like, uh, I don't know. I remember a few cringy times where I'm like sitting there and like, I would like take it down with the intention of people be like, oh my God, your hair is so beautiful. And I'd be like, oh, and using it as like a way for me to like boost my ego or at least feel good about myself. And that's one aspect of the reason why, I mean, as you say, I still have it long and that was more of a compromise between me and my girlfriend. And actually I do enjoy having it this long and I think it looks nice on me. But I'm trying to change the relationship with this thing because it's just a fleeting item I have on my head. Uh, and I feel that there is a lot of situations in which we're not wearing the clothes, the clothes is wearing us. You know, I notice I'm kind of wearing, <laughs> uh, I kind of put this on on purpose as a part of this example. I mean, I do like this. But there's certain context in which I could be wearing it, like this context, I guess, right now. Um, I could be wearing it as a way to get attention as opposed to just instead of me having a strong personality or me being confident in my skin, me being able to project myself and able to move around with comfort, I'm putting on a band-aid and my hair was part of that. Um, as well as I really wasn't digging the identity that somebody with long hair gets, particularly like, you know, you can be like considered potentially a hippie or something like that. And, you know, I'm not, I, I don't like having identities. Um, you never, ever want to fully identify with saying I am this, right? Particularly you see this a lot. And, you know, I guess one good spot to talk about this is within politics. Somebody given a certain political belief, um, saying like, I am conservative, I am liberal, I am, you know, whatever, libertarian, or I don't know what the fuck all of this stuff is out there. Uh, it's irrelevant. The point is, is that now that you are that thing, there's a box that you're putting yourself in. And within that box, and do we start, there's, there's two aspects. There's an external other people aspect of being in that box. And then there is the internal aspect within yourself. So I guess we'll start with that. Um, you know, if you're in that box, there's a set of beliefs that are expected of you and regardless if you truly authentically believe them or not, um, you're expected, you know, you, you're expected to believe those. So then you internalize and saying, I am this. And particularly you see with politics or even, you know, corporations do this a lot, you know, identity marketing. I don't know if that's a term, but I corned it TM trademark. Uh, pay me if you use it. <laughs> uh, no, um, all seriousness is there is a like 
those sets of beliefs that you now are internalizing in and now if that someone know now I guess like what we'll say is if there's something that proves that belief wrong now you're upset angry I believe they call identity politics you are just totally shot off to her and you're not growing as a person because you can only grow if it's within the context of the identity that you took on the other aspect of that is the external I mean there is a fine line between the external but now with the external people come and they assume all this stuff about you without even knowing you without even getting to talk to you they come up and they were like this person you know politics is a very easy one to kind of do but like if you have a nuanced view or nuanced point on something um people within that thing they get mad right that's the internal but then they'll project out the external thinking you're the opposite and then they project, do you believe this? Do you believe this? And they just think that you believe that. And I guess one aspect of that is, um, you know, with, I guess, the identity of a hippie with long hair, right? So I don't need people sitting there assuming all these things, just assuming, you know, like I'm walking around just say, hey, good vibes, man, you know, whatever like that. And just all that kind of woo-woo things and like they think that I just am like some fucking soft punk ass person oh, what is that some fall <laughs> soft punk ass person um this TP is like quite janky right now I'm a little worried that it's going to be collapsing any moment uh, but we'll be fixing that soon um as of soon I mean tomorrow but uh what was I saying before I got distracted by that Flopping noise almost coming toward my head, but uh, yeah, you don't want people to make all these assumptions about who you are and all that. You want to come in with a clean slate and then let your personality, let all your particular nuances you know, there's eight, nine, whatever the fuck billion people in this world. Each one of them, yes, we are all the same, but we're not all exactly the same, and um, you can't put yourself in those boxes so my hair was part of that you know I'm trying to shed that box you know the sweater <laughs> you know I guess it's a little weird and it's loud and it gets attention but I do like it and I will continue to wear it but I'm not identified by it it's not me per se and I'm not you know and I would actually probably not wear it in all contexts is because I don't super identify with that I don't need to go out there and get attention from somebody by wearing this sweater I'm not going to wear this ridiculous sweater in the context of a wedding right there are some people it might be because they're like oh well I'm a festival kid so I'll wear this fucking Goodwill sweater that I got for three dollars in the women's section um and yeah just all kinds of things like that so in summary I just wanted to point out that like you want to be in control of your own Identity. You want to be in control of your own nuances. You want to be, we're all unique. We're all little snowflakes. You know, there is a grain of truth to that. And you can't allow yourself to rope into this little box and then make sure that your beliefs fall into what this little box belief is. And, um, that also leaves you open to control and manipulation. And that's ultimately what you want to avoid. You know, control and manipulation of your own internal brain. And control and manipulation of others. So, yeah, don't... A little piece of advice. Yeah, don't let your identity... Don't make sure you too strongly identify with one thing or another. And don't close yourself into a box that society likes to place you in. Because... That allows you to be, you know, manipulated by others and to manipulate yourself. So, yeah, thank you for your time. Have a good day.